front door. There's Otto. And here is the actual, what do you call it, the, uh, his farm. Not farm, his, uh, oh, look at that. That's new. S plus metal tap. Very cool. So he's got all these irrigated. Uh, they all have 300% greenhouse effect, so everything's going to be good to go in here. What's going on guys, DBF Gaming, welcome back to a brand new episode of ARK Survival Evolved. We're on the Ragnarok map, we're playing on the Adventurers Fantasy Guild server. Check it out guys, I know in the last episodes, you guys saw us get a couple wyverns, we did a couple things, and then I told you we were going to build up here and we hadn't really started yet, uh, we did a lot. So what I did is build a couple castles up here, I, at one point I had a giant castle on this side, and I tore it completely down, so it's been like a week worth of building up here, all kinds of stuff, oh we got a level on our, on our buddy Peaches here, let's go one more speed. So you can kind of see what we got going on up here. A couple little castles. This was a lot of work and a lot of materials. Uh, the metal down there was not cutting it, so we had to go back to that re that little forge refinery thing that we made back in like episode six, I think, uh, and that helped out a lot. This is mainly stone and metal is mainly what the keep is made out of. But I'll kind of show you what we got going on here. So up top we got our, our wyverns on each side, and then I just kind of parked the birds up top. I also went and borrowed that Christmas RG is not mine. That's one I borrowed from the adventurer's uh, home spot went over there and borrowed that one so I can use it to breed with the two males that we have because I think Peaches yeah Peaches is a male and Drab is a male so between the two of them <laughs> the uh, bo both males we needed a female so we went and got this one this is Miracle level 422 female I got some levels on this one too to, to spin but we won't do that because we're just using it for breeding we will do that here in a minute uh, we brought our griffin from our other base, but we just kind of built with like the the little castle. What do you call these? The castle, um, I can't even think what they're called, but like the battlements, the little battlements on top of the keep. I think they look pretty cool. Uh, it's not the best building in the world. I'm not great at this kind of stuff. So this is so new to me, and we're still kind of trying to learn it. But I got it on both sides. We got some spiral staircases. All right, this building here. Once we get to the bottom, eventually, this building here is our crafting area. So all the crafting stuff. We built into the, the ruins that were already here, so you can kind of see how the ruins are incorporated here. Got the nice little door there. Uh, we got our forges hanging on this side. Should have tons of metal going here. We went and picked up uh, over, a little over 10,000 metal on our last run. All right, there's that. We got all of our different crafting things. We got the food trays. We have a masonry table, blacksmith, of course, the smitty S+, plus, the stables. So we installed a couple new Ecos mods. We have the stables and structures. There's the carpentry table. Uh, what is this? Keep... Uh, hold on. Furniture and decor, the Ecos upholstery, Ecos awning and signs. So just a bunch of these Ecos mods that just really help it so you can kind of change what the interior of places place look like and just add all kinds of cool functionality things. It's really cool. So that's this is the first base. Like I said, it's got two staircases up to the top. Got the battlements up top. A couple little things over here. Let me show you my favorite thing about this base. Check it out. We're going to add some stuff under the walls and everything. But look at this. Watch. Bam. Oh, hold on. There we go. Look at that. Little secret door closes behind us all right and then down here I've got a little place that we're building into I haven't done anything with it yet I don't even know what I'm gonna do with it uh, but I just think it's really really cool I don't know I just thought thought it would be kind of uh, sweet to have like a little hidden area down here it was hard to build because we basically had to use foundations to walls to found uh, to ceilings and then foundations again it's just really weird I don't know one of these I'll kind of go down there and show you what we worked on down there so that's that building let's check out the second building so the second building I put a little more time into. I've actually this is the first one that came up, so it's got a few more things in it. It's a little a little nicer. Check this out. Got the thrones up here up top. Oh, there's our buddy. I was wondering where you've been. All right. The uh, hold on. Let's make sure we don't have the extra names on. So there you go. So we got the thrones up here. A couple of flags over here. Torches all over the place. Over on this side we got our four sabers. Awesome, awesome sabers. All of them were at least 270. I think was the lowest. Uh, so all of them tamed out to like 400 or close to. Uh, we got a couple of the map tables in here just for looks. It just kind of looks cool. A couple of our cool bears. We got, uh, I don't even think I named these. I haven't named either of you. Real low level. Neither of them are like a high level. The 299 I literally just found in the redwoods a couple of days ago. So we got one of the red, one of the blue, or one of the red, one of the green, excuse me. All right. So that's kind of shows you what we have in there. And then same thing. This one's got a uh, little, what do you call the, the spiral staircase all the way up to the top. Comes out underneath the stairs. We got our pteranodons over here. We got Doc Holiday and Trouble. Of course, our old reliable Trouble right there. This is a wyvern that Otto actually got and gave to us. 
This thing is amazing. I don't even have a name for it yet, but this thing is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, it was a 330, I think, and it's fully imprinted. So we had 160 speed starting off. Uh, so it's up to 190 now. It's uh, crazy fast. It's actually too fast, honestly. <laughs> so that's the thing. All right. The uh, tiny green and uh, I don't, we didn't name the other terrain down, but it's a pretty decent level as well. So that kind of shows you up there. Uh, we finally organized our dinos down below because it was actually a nightmare down here. Just everybody everywhere. These guys we haven't really messed with yet. I'm going to need another saddle, but we have uh, Tick and Talk. I don't know. It just made me think of uh, Captain Hook. There you go. Tick and Talk. The little crocodiles or sarcos, I should say. Uh, over here, a couple carnos. We only have males, so we're looking for a female. We will give these guys names eventually. A Megalosaurus that we just kind of accidentally tamed one day. And then our Kendros, a couple Christmas Kendros. These guys are awesome. They're kind of just hanging out to keep everything safe. And then most of our utility guys over here, we're going to leave them right here so we can take them out easily. We got, of course, Brute that we got early on. 441 Trike, awesome. Uh, we got Tyke 334 Equus, my favorite ride, honestly. We've got Badger, who's not ours. We actually borrowed that from the guild. Azula, who's borrowed from the guild. That's, that belongs to Teru. And then we have a Ghostodon, just a, a white one. I thought it was a really cool color. And then we've got Solo, and it's Solo Plates. I don't know if you guys know what, are familiar with the plastic red plates or cups. They're called Solo, so that's what that is. So there you go. There's a quick update into what we have going. Right now, I'm just kind of working on getting a few of the things that we need in order to make better stuff. Uh, the, there is a few of these things already back at the base. Let's see. Uh, oh, I need some spark powder. So we have everything but the spark powder here. Let's see if we can get some spark powder made up really quick. Uh, we also need some spoiled meat, so I'll do that in just a second. Uh, so I think I, I think I needed 50 here, right? All right, so there's 50 spark powder coming up. And then I'm going to need spoiled meat. Let's go on a quick meat run. We'll go out here and eat some things. Who do we want to take out? That one, right? Obviously the wyvern. Even though I don't want to take it because it's going to be hard to park it back up there because we're so bad at flying these things. Uh, but got to take this guy out. He's ready to go out and eat some things. Well, let's go do it. Let's go eat everything. These guys are absolutely awesome. He's got a couple levels too. Let's go. Melee's already 2,000%. Health, almost 50,000. I don't even know if we need to pump anything else. Maybe we'll actually pump the stamina on it so it can keep going a little bit further. I don't know. Let's figure it out. All right, so we went ahead and went with Melee. So we're up to 357. We got to get a name for this thing. Let's go down here and just start eating everything and see how much damage we're actually doing now. It should be pretty crazy. We'll keep an eye out for anything that we want to tame. There's nothing really that we need, need. Now, the nice thing is the bridge up there, I don't seem to have too many problems with temperature up there. Oh, I don't even look at what... 1800 damage look at that absolutely crazy uh, but we don't have to worry about too much about temperature up there so it's just really nice and then you come right over here and you got the super cold area so that's actually good because i have a quits egg somewhere that i want to go ahead and hatch up we could probably come over here and do it All right. we're gonna eat everything in sight Let's do this in fact you know what we probably should have is there another fiomi over there I actually need to grab that. We don't want to kill it. All right, there we go. Grab those. Grab that. I think that's probably enough already. Oh, yeah, that's definitely enough meat to last us a long time. Eat these guys real quick. Please don't be a super high level. <laughs> I'll feel bad if it's like a crazy high level, even though we can't even tame those guys just yet. All right, here we go. The hardest part. Let's see if we can get some parking going. Oh, and we finally got to level up. What level are we at now? We just hit 79 we're about to hit. Let's see. Let's go. Uh, we need to start pumping our melee a little bit. We've never pumped melee on our guy. Not like it's too big of a deal. And I'm not sure if melee actually ties into shooting anything ranged. So I'm, I really don't know. I should probably test it out, but that's okay. We'll, we'll do that eventually. All right. Come on. Here we go. Coming in for a landing. There we go. Got it. Oh, we missed horribly. All right, it looks like you're going to park there. Uh, and we're also hurting for meat, too. I need to actually get us some food. So what I'll do is I'll just grab some berries over here from the feeding trough. And we will eat a giant grip of berries real quick. There we go. I'll eat, like, a couple hundred really, really fast. Let's hold on to it. Hopefully that'll fill us up just a little bit. There we go. All right. Now I need a spoiling bin. So let's get the spoiling bin. Oh, I haven't even, I haven't even done the thing for it. Spoil. There we go. Spoiling bin. We'll throw this right over here next to this. All right. Spoil. 
I just need wood for that. Too easy. I got plenty of that. And we'll place it right here on the corner. There we go. All right. Now we'll grab a ridiculous amount of meat. And we will get it all spoiled real quick. I don't want to grab that much, but let's grab like 2,000. Pull that. And raw. Transfer all of it. There we go. Seems like it should have been a lot more than that. That's okay. <laughs> there we go. But now we can get that, and then we can get a whole bunch of this made up. There we go. Plus we got the 333 right there. So now we can actually have enough narcotic to hopefully tame some stuff up here pretty soon. We got a little bit on this side too. I need more spoiled meat over here. Let's do the spoiled meat one more time. All right, let's go. Let's see, spoiled meat again. Let's see, spoiled meat. No. Oh, not spoiled meat. Hold on, raw meat. What am I thinking here? Raw meat. Let's go. I'm gonna. How much can I pull at once? I pulled off 4,000. Okay. Raw. Transfer. Let it all spoil. Wow. Okay. So it, that's the most you can get is... So don't put more than that on there. It looks like it actually wasted quite a bit. All right. So just put it in stacks. Because with the stacks mod, I think something's going funny there. There we go. 994. Throw all of that here. And... Bam. There's another 700 narcotic coming up there. All right, we're good to go there. I think we should have the stuff for the actual fabricator now. All right, fabricator. Bam, there we go. Huge advancements. Now, this already exists back at the, the guild headquarters, but we want to go ahead and get a few of these things here in this base. Now, I was thinking maybe I could put this downstairs, but I think we're going to keep all the crafting stuff up here. Let's go fabricator here. All right, and I grabbed some fuel from the base. There we go, turn on. And then the grill is the next thing that I want to get because we're hurting for food right now. For that, we need 20 crystal. Nice. We can definitely get that really quickly. Like I said, there's a nice little crystal spot right down here. we got to repark this guy anyway. So there's a couple spots you can go for it. There's a little cave right here or out there in the middle. There's that with the waterfall on it. Inside there is a lot of crystal too. So we'll stop here real quick. But we'll do this. We'll at least get ourselves these little advancements, get some meat cooking up real quick, and then we will go on a uh, little bit of a taming run. We're looking for kind of mating pairs for any of the high-level high stuff we do have. Oh, let's get our stuff. Uh-oh. I was going to say, has it, has it not respawned? We don't need a lot. We just need to hit a few of these. But we'll, we're going to hit several of them. That way I can get the mushrooms, too, because we need mushrooms for other things. There we go. Uh, to include, eventually, we will go out and tame a kangaroo. That's going to happen. I love those animals, especially on this map. The way this map is set up, they're a lot of fun running around the Ragnarok map. There we go. Let's get these last couple, and then we'll jump back on our wyvern. There we go. All right, back up top. All right, so that's kind of kind of getting us back on track. Then we will have a grill made up, and then we can start cooking all the food. Uh, and then we just need to start getting some of the other supplies that we really need. Is the metal respawning here? It has not. So we have to wait a little bit longer before we can go on another metal run. All right. Let's get out of here. Thank you. There's a really cool green carno down there, but it's not the one we need. Unfortunately, we need we need a female. Both of ours are males. Uh, same with, we, we really need a high-level female pteranodon, I think. Because we have one female, but it's super low level. It is a cool Christmas color, but it's really low level. Oh, we actually landed it. Take that. Now is the problem of trying to line it up. See if we can get it. Come on. No, we got it. We'll take it. Sweet. All right, cool. Let's go make up our grill real quick. Oh, wrong side. Wrong side. Got all the metal smelting up there, too. We should be good to go on pretty much everything. Uh, let's see. Grill. Oh, that's not the S plus one, though. I want the S plus one. Let's go over here. So I guess I didn't really need a fabricator if I can make it right here, right? Grill. Like so. We're missing 20 crystal. Now we're not. Bam. Yeah, I guess I didn't need to make a fabricator. We could have saved those supplies. That would have been a thing. I kind of forget about the S plus stuff sometimes. All right. But we'll need a fabricator in the future for other things, so it's not a big deal. You see, I got... Uh, torches all over the place too. This place is actually really cool looking at nighttime. 
if we hit another nighttime before I'm done recording, I'll definitely show you guys that. All right, so let's grab just one like that, and then we will see how long this will last. All right, let's go cooked prime meat. All right, I'm going to get this going. We'll get us a little bit of meat, and then we're going to head out and try to tame something. All right, we got the narcotic made up. We'll make up some arrows as we go, trying to figure out exactly what it is we're going to tame when we get out there. So now the next plans for this area is I'm going to start building up some more functionality stuff, but I want to actually make this just kind of a like a street vendor, like a when you first come into like a castle village, I guess, a bunch of vendors. So we're going to throw down the first one of those. You have the market decor, and it's like a little bear with a a uh, on a riding thing, which I think is really cool. So we're going to put that kind of towards the front. So when you first come in, you're going to see this guy. Just think he looks really cool. And this will give us the option to actually build a whole bunch of cool stuff after this. So you're just kind of hanging out here on the edge of the road. And then this one allows us to make all kinds of cool things. You have some armor stands, some different dino crates, uh, some displays, like different types of displays. Like people have like a little market going. All right. And then stalls and tables, all different ones here. Check it out. Fish stall. And they're all fairly inexpensive to make, so that's kind of cool. Hopefully, it's close enough to base to pull. Let's find out for sure. Let's find. Let's do one of these. It's not real expensive here. Yeah, there we go. Blueprint, material stall, uh, medical stall, fish stall. So let's like look at one of these real quick, and I'll kind of give you an idea of what it's gonna look like out here. I just think it'd be kind of cool. Set up like this little village vendor type area. So like so. There we go. I don't know. I just think it looks really cool. There you go. You got now. You got a little uh, fish type area. Now I'm wondering uh, if you can do anything with this, or if it's just like you just have inventory on there. I'm not 100 percent sure on there. We'll have to kind of figure that out. But if nothing else, like it'll just be like this little row of street vendors and stuff here. That's kind of what we're planning. So let's see what time is it daytime wise. 12. So we got plenty of time to go out and tame something. Let's get. Should we go Griffin or should we go Old Reliable Trouble? Let's go with. Let's go with Old Reliable. Let's get our our favorite Pteranodon out there. We'll take Trouble out, do some things. It's almost time to retire Trouble, uh, get, bring Trouble back and actually breed it up with something else and then let Trouble retire. We'll put it down inside the castle, kind of how the sabers are. All right, so time to look for something colored. Uh, we need any of the Christmas colors. That's what we're looking for and high level. If we can't find uh, exactly what we're looking for, just something close would be fine too. What level is that guy? Level 50. See, that's, that's usually what we get. Oh, my goodness. What is this? 100. Come on, man. Really? Yeah, there were a bunch of Spinos down here before. I don't know if they're still here. Let's see. Here we go. Oh, 280 and a 110. 100. What else we got? They're, like I said, they're everywhere down here, so there's no shortage of them. All right, 290 female. Oh, wow. Oh, that's a female. What is this one over here? A 280 male and a 290 female? That could definitely be a thing. We could knock both these guys out, and then we could breed up a baby and maybe give that to Otto, because Otto's got a really high level one out at his base. That could definitely be a thing. Oh, oh, wait. Here we go. Hold on. This is what we're really looking for. 190. Come on. Don't set me up like that. Make me think it's going to be awesome, and then it's not. That's that 100. So let's creep around just a little bit more. We don't want to just settle for the first thing we see. That's usually how we do. We usually go out with a certain thing in mind and then come back with something totally different. Now we could go to the swamp. We're definitely in need of a Beals of Bufo so we can really take care of all the cementing paste. We'd be good to go on that if we could get one of those. I don't know. Decisions, decisions. So let me kind of go around for a little bit. There's definitely those, those two high level Spinos are definitely calling my name a little bit. Uh, I'm going to have to kind of decide if we want to go after that or if we want to head out to the swamp. I don't know. I don't know. Decisions. I'll see you guys in just a few minutes. All right, so we were checking out the messages in Discord, and actually we realized that Otto actually needs help with a couple things to tame up that we could get pretty easily. Uh, he's built up a really cool farm out there, a little greenhouse, and we can go ahead and go get one of these little Fiomias. So that way he'll have the, the little poop machine out there, and then he'll be good to go in that area. We have enough of the, the feces to make all of the stuff. Uh, we we'll use Miracle real quick. I'm just going to grab one of these. Oh, this is the slowest bird in the world. Oh my god, you're so slow. Alright, so we'll go out here and get this Fiomia. Where are you at? It was right over here to the left. Hopefully nothing's eaten it since we left. But we'll grab this Fiomia, take it back to base real quick, tame it up. In fact, if there's two of them, we'll, we'll just do 
We'll do two of them really quickly here. Oh, what is that? Really cool looking parasaur, but we don't need that. Not needed. Alright. Are these male, female? Hold on. Female, male. Yep. So I don't think it, I don't know if it matters, like, the level of the female. I don't know if that's a thing at all. But we're going to grab the male. It's a little bit higher level. And then we might come right back out and grab the other one here in just a minute. Oh, there's a Deodon out there that's awesome, awesome colors. All right, yeah, but we're going to take this. I'm going to knock it back, knock it out in base. And then we're going to go, after we get this one, we're going to go look for a dung beetle. Dung beetle would definitely help us out because the crops are going to help everyone in the tribe out. So it's definitely worth going out and getting, helping out the tribe real quick uh, instead of going out and getting something that we need. But I think today we will also try to get our frog because we definitely need a frog to help us out with the cementing paste. So the easiest way to do this, let's go into the base. Will it open for me without losing this guy? Oh, come on, come on. It does not want to. Hold on. All right, that's fine. We can just do it right here. It's going to knock out in one shot, so. All right, like so. Let me make sure. How much torpor do you have? All right, just making sure it should be. Which two arrows do I have? I, I don't even know. Hold on. Arrow... I think I have that one, 7,800, and that one, 1,500. So let's go with the blue. All right, make sure everybody's on passive. And go to sleep. Where are you going, man? I was going to say, go to sleep for us. So these guys should tame up really fast because they get their, have how hungry they are when uh, the, the amount that they eat, I guess. Let's find out. Let's go like that. We'll take about 300 of that. And I do have a taming potion, but I'm not wasting a taming potion on a, on one of these guys. At least I don't think so. Let's see how bad it's going to be. 2%? No, we're good to go. We'll take it. All right, let's go out and get the other one. And I'm going to knock him out, and then I'll bring you back when both of them are up. All right, there we go. Both of them taming up. This one's about 2% per. A female 180. We found a little bit better one out there. And then this one is about 65%. So they're both going to be good to go. So that takes care of that. Now it's just on to find a dung beetle. There's a couple areas where we can do this. The first and probably easier area is right next to the burnt area. We're just going to leave these guys be. Let's go over to Taru's base, and then we're going to head over to that burnt biome right there and see if we can find one to pick up and bring back. So let's do this. All right, usually in this area is where we're able to find some of the dung beetles, so hopefully we'll get kind of lucky here. Plus, we can kind of be on the lookout for a scorpion. I would love to get a high-level scorpion. They're a lot of fun to play with, but uh, we're going to focus on the dung beetle, hopefully at least for a minute or two before I get distracted. Let's see. Are there, oh, man, Christmas-colored mantis would be awesome. Uh, we have the wyvern now that we can actually go start taking out a couple of the... Oh, is that right there? Yeah, what level are you, man? I don't think it matters what level, so let's just see. Dung Beetle 270? Well, it doesn't matter what level, but that's not bad right there. All right, all right. Stamina should be fine. We're going to head all the way back. Uh, but what I was saying before before we stop there is we, we've got a wyvern. We can actually start going taking out the, the, the big sandworms, whatever they're called. Take those guys out and get some of the death horns. And then go tame a mantis. That could definitely be a thing. But, all right, let me get this guy back. It's going to be a little bit of a long trek in a this or the direction, I think. We're going to get back over there, tame this guy up, and then, bam, we'll have the poop machines and the dung beetle. All right, guys, I think both the poop machines are back up. So let's drop this guy right here. Hopefully this isn't going to be too hard to do this. I'm not really sure. It's been a while since I've tamed a dung beetle, especially on a somewhat vanilla server. I guess it's not vanilla anymore. we got quite a few mods on here. So now what we can do, though, is we can take, we need all of the stem berry, right? Go down here, stem berry, and we take like a thousand of that. And then put it over here, and then we force feed stem berries like crazy, and we get all the stuff from this guy. Look at this. He's gonna go nuts. Poor guy. What a rough day. But you do that, and then bam, we got all the stuff. Okay. Get all of it here. There we go. There we go. All right, let's see. Where's our little dung beetle friend? Uh-oh. There he is. Okay. So now do I need to put it on the last slot like before? I think so. And I don't know if it makes a difference what kind of, like what size of feces you use. I'm not really sure. All right. That's 20%. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Let's get some more. We're going to kind of force feed this guy again there we go it's a thing <laughs> all right we're gonna send a picture to the tribe 
All right, guys, we're getting saddles made up for the two Fiomias. We just finished taming up the actual uh, dung beetle, so that's good to go now. It tamed out to 404, so kind of awesome. Like I said, I don't know if it makes a difference other than weight would be higher, but weight's only 9.7, so I think we just got to wait till we get some levels on this, and then, then we'll actually have uh, quite a bit. So let's go like this. We'll transfer as much as we can, which is not very much because it's still pretty little. All right, let's get the saddles for these guys so I can move them over there so I can teleport real quick all right park this guy over here like pump speed on these guys so they're the fastest guys ever i don't know what would be the best thing to pump for them maybe food maybe i'm not really sure there's that guy and there's this one there we go all right so there we go mr and mrs a poop machine so we got those we got the two dung beetles let's go out i've got a few more minutes left i think i can make it out to the swamp and see if i can grab us a frog and then we will be good to go for what we need to get today as well. All right, I'll be right back, guys. All right, guys, check it out. This is the actual greenhouse over here. Let me show you this. Out here at Otto's little redwood uh, cottage, whatever you want to call it. All right, let's go through here. Out the front door. There's Otto. And here is the actual, what do you call it, the, uh, his farm. Not farm, his, uh, oh, look at that. That's new. S plus metal tap. Very cool. So he's got all these irrigated. Uh, they all have 300% greenhouse effect, so everything's going to be good to go in here. He is going to have a ridiculous amount of stuff in here. All right, so let's go like this. I came over here without the guy, so I can do it this way. Go back to our Sky Bridge, which I'm going to rename Skyhold. Uh, I've been meaning to rename the teleporter. We just haven't got back to it. So let's get back over here. All right, and then back at base, we'll just send these guys to last remote location. There we go. They should be in the farm now, hopefully. <laughs> All right, let's head to the swamp real quick. We're gonna get us a, a frog real quick and be right back. All right, guys, back at base. We got a 270 in tow. Hopefully all of our lights have turned on, all of our S plus lights. Yeah, there they go. So I'm gonna drop this guy in here. Okay, no, 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 don't go out, don't go out. Are you kidding me? Come on, man. Okay, hold on. He's gonna end up jumping off here. No, 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 no. We can't see at all. But we could knock him out right there, but I just don't want him to attack any of our guys. Oh, there goes Badger. No, 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 no. He's going to jump off. Oh, we're going to lose him. Okay. This is just going to have to happen out here. I know it's super dark. I want to take him inside so you guys can see. It's not a thing. All right. Here we go. Is this the right arrow, hopefully? Go down, go down. Is he out right away? Yep, okay. We weren't 100% sure. Let's get some prime meat real quick. Let's see, raw prime. We got raw prime. And 222. Pull it. Let's throw a taming potion on him so it'll be super fast. And there you go, all the raw prime. There you go, eat fast, man. It, this is good too because these guys are a complete pain if you have to wait on them in terms of their torpor. Their torpor usually drops really fast. There we go. Yeah, Beelzebufo. Going to be good to go. All right, super nice. Now, I know it's in the dark here. I try not to do anything in the dark, but I did want to show you guys the inside of our base really quick. So this one, nothing too much to look at here. Just a couple torches in here to kind of make it look a little bit nicer. Plus, you got the forges and stuff going, so it makes it look kind of cool. Now, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, we had the frog hopping around. All right. And then on this side, though, this side looks pretty cool with all the torches inside here. Check it out. You got the the really good lighting in here. Let's go. Right here. Check this out. I just really like the look of it. I've taken a few pictures of it. I think it's really, really cool. All right, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the episode. If you guys did, make sure you guys hit that like button. It really helps me out. We got our Beals of Bufo now, so we can go get all the cementing paste. We need to... up update our gear this is from when we were in the desert doing wyvern things uh, but if you did like it hit that like button if you're new here definitely subscribe as always leave a comment down below and i will see you in the next episode of arc survival evolved oh man ragnarok adventures fantasy guild server we were gonna mess that up it's super late at night time to get some sleep i'll see you guys in the next episode